there are pictures of your son engaged in lewd behavior. What, no. What he was doing, what he, he was, was doing, doing in public. What he was doing? You asked you mean us what to was look done into to him. this, and No, what we was did. done to him? We My did. son was we... raped. American crime star Lily Taylor stepped onto the stage at a young age and built a career in theater and cinema spanning three decades and counting. That'll never be me. That'll never be, never be me, no. Her distinctive look and sound have lent character and heart to roles in over 50 films, such as Mystic Pizza, The Conjuring, and Leatherface. She's also been featured in more than 20 TV series, including Six Feet Under and Hemlock Grove. Her breadth of talent and experience crisscross genre, documentary, horror, drama, mystery, sci-fi, comedy, and romance. Lily came to SCAD for ATV Fest, leading our students in a master class and accepting the ATV Fest Icon Award. Then we talked about season two of American Crime, a challenging storyline she tackled with gusto. An Icon Award, a master class, a screening of American Crime. Thank you so much for spending all this time with us in Atlanta. I love coming to colleges and I love sitting in on classes and seeing like what the future generation is going to be coming in, you know, and out and doing. Difficult role in American crime for you this time. How did you prepare for that? I've been following a lot of these cases, and so it was something that was interesting to me on a personal level. It's a big national conversation. It is. It is. And we need to be talking about it even more. And, you know, originally it was I had a daughter, and John changed it to a boy. And, um, and I thought that was great and so telling of John because it made it a lot more complex. 911, what's your emergency? <sighs> Yeah. I want to report a rape. So John has really brought this tradition of repertory theater to television. How does that impact playing the roles? Well, you know, I do a lot of theater, and I've seen a lot, and I some of the best theater I've seen is from rep companies. The writers know us better, the directors do, we know them, we know the actors, each other, and what you're picking up on is a depth. You know, it's like a painting that's been worked on for a long time. With American Crime, you know, the audience notices so many long, lingering shots. How is that for an actor? It, it, it's great. I mean, and it's even great when the shot, long shot's not on me. And a lot of them weren't because they were on Connor, my son, because that's where the mm -hmm. focus is. But I'd much rather be, be innovative with the way we're gonna tell the story. But I think what John's capturing is this thing that you just can't um, create in the editing room. It's the room. whole scene. It's the whole thing. And I never feel like, like that scene friggin' exhausted me. I never feel like that. How do you see television and your career going into the future? I've been around a long time and I mean, I was around when it was death to do a TV show. You know, I remember we were doing a play, uh, Callista Flockhart was in it. She went off to go do Ally McBeal. Mm -hmm. We totally understood her, we gave her blessings, but we were also making fun of her. We were snobs because you couldn't get work if you did a TV show. It was really very, di now you get work if you do a TV show. It's the total opposite. Total opposite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Birding, trapezing, these are pretty interesting hobbies. Birds are a great gateway. Mm -hmm. um, if birds don't end up being your thing, they'll probably introduce you to many other things. Yes. Trees, flowers, the climate. What about trapezing, though? Trapeze I stumbled on. Um, my husband teaches at Omega, this place up in upstate New York, and and uh, he, there was a trapeze rig in the middle of the field. And unbeknownst to me was this trapeze um, a yearning that I had no idea of. Um, and so when I started to fly, uh, well, they said to my husband, um, I think she'll be coming back, but I don't know about you. So. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank and you. I love talking to you. <laughs>